What is happening? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. I'm actually in the pickup line for my uh, pre-K five-year-old. And I, I came a little bit early knowing that I was I was thinking about I might just do this video while I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, I why I have no idea why there's why we have such a line this early. Here we are. So I am not driving and videoing. We don't have to worry about that. That would be a that would be a poor insurance agent precedent to set. Not. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about auto insurance. So auto insurance is one of those things that I know everybody's at least a little bit familiar with. Everybody has auto insurance. It's required by the state of Oklahoma to have auto insurance. But there are a lot of different options within auto insurance that are very important to know. And I'm not I'm not talking about options within carriers or different insurance companies that offer auto insurance. I'm talking about options within your personal auto policy. So you're gonna have options, uh, bodily injury limits, personal property limits, medical payments, uninsured, underinsured motorist coverage, collision coverage, comprehensive coverage. There's a bunch of different options that you have. And it's very important to know what those options are, what your limits are within those options, and what they do for you. Uh, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll go through some of that today. A little bit of a disclaimer. So there's a lot of litigation in, in auto insurance there are lawsuits every day of, uh, resulting from bodily injury sustained during a car accident. We can't go a single day without hearing a commercial from a law firm asking if you've been hurt in an auto accident. So I'm not trying to say that a specific auto insurance company is going to pay for a specific cause or a specific loss and what the amount of money that they're going to pay. That's not what I, that's not what we're trying to do. My goal today is to prevent a scenario in which there's property damage and or bodily injury and how your coverage limits come into effect. How easy it is to reach certain coverage limits and what happens once those limits are reached. So that's the goal today. Uh, we're not we're, I'm not an insurance adjuster. If you have a claim, you're gonna have an adjuster come. He's going to have specific scenarios within your claim. There's gonna be every every claim's unique, every situation's unique. Uh, so this is not a, a specific situation. We're, te we're, we're talking about a, a very generic scenario. So with that said, we'll talk about bodily injury. So bodily injury is your limits are done on a split limit or a combined single limit basis, most commonly split limit. So for instance, the state minimum requirements for bodily injury in the state of Oklahoma is 2550, meaning 25,000 per vehicle, or I'm sorry, 25,000 per person, 50,000 per accident. Uh, the other limit, the other split limits are gonna be 5,100, 100, 300, 250 500 so those are your different options uh, combined single limit 100 100 csl 300 csl 500 csl so for this little experiment we're going to say 2550 25000 per person 50000 per accident so if you're if you're at fault in an accident you rear end another vehicle the driver of that vehicle is the only occupant and they're injured your bodily injury limits will apply to him. Now, what does your personal auto insurance cover? It's, it, it could cover medical expenses resulting from an auto accident that you're at fault for. It could, it could cover um, loss of income resulting from injuries from that accident. And it could cover legal fees for you if that person sues you as a result of injuries sustained from an accident. So if you're at fault in an accident, you rear in somebody and somebody gets hurt, your auto insurance could pay up to $25,000 worth of bodily injury. Now, 
if there's two people in the vehicle and you have 2550 coverage it's 25,000 per person up to 50,000 per accident so both of those people could have $25,000 worth of coverage totaling $50,000 if there's four people in the vehicle you rear in somebody all four people are injured it's 25,000 per person but your policy maxes out at 50,000 your insurance is, your insurance company's limit of liability maxes at $50,000 if four people are hurt and they all have significant injuries you can see how very easily you could you could exceed fifty thousand dollars worth of damages if there's only one person in the vehicle and they're injured and they're taken by ambulance to the hospital in oklahoma city and and there's spend three days in icu maybe have a surgery you can pretty well guarantee that you're going to have excess of twenty five thousand dollars worth of bodily injury so what happens if somebody's injured and they're medical expenses exceed $25,000. If you if your coverage limits are that, 2550 the state limit, you're responsible. You pay out of pocket for anything in excess of that. That can become a very expensive very quickly. There are horror stories of of people paying basically for the rest of their lives because they were they were involved in a serious auto accident where they were at fault and somebody was was very seriously injured uh, and there's a lawsuit and and th there are ba very bad things that can happen when you're at fault in an accident and it's extremely important to have the coverage limits that, that you need to, to take care of that and the same with personal with with property uh, the state minimum is 2550 25 the third number being property damage if you cause an accident and that vehicle is worth more than twenty five thousand dollars your 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 policy limits twenty five thousand so if you if you total a vehicle and it's worth fifty thousand your insurance is gonna pay twenty five you're gonna owe twenty five thousand out of pocket so medical payments um, medical payments well, what happens if you're at fault, you rear in somebody, and you yourself is injured? Your medical payments is what going to pays that. It's called most commonly referred to as med pay. Most people I talk to have no idea what their med pay limits are. Some don't have any med pay. Most are a thousand. Some have a five thousand. You can you can get ten thousand. You could get twenty five thousand dollars. Uninsured, uninsured motorist coverage is another one. In my opinion, it's extremely important to have that coverage. And it's important to have that coverage the same as your bodily injuries that you're giving somebody else. If you're, to, if you're driving and somebody hits you, you are not at fault, it's not your fault, but you're hurt. If they don't have insurance, or if they have the state minimum insurance, and your medical expenses exceed a hundred thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars or whatever it may be if you have uninsured motorist coverage and it's a covered loss then if you have whatever that limit is it say it's a hundred thousand dollars that will pay up to a hundred thousand dollars that coverage follows you anywhere if you have on your personal auto insurance if you have uninsured motorists of 100 300 and you go get in and you go ride around with your cousin who doesn't have that coverage at all and you're hit you're the passenger in that vehicle and you get hit and you're hurt your uninsured motorist coverage follows you in that situation you, you're covered you have coverage and that's why it's so important and I believe you should have the same limits for yourself as you're giving somebody else with your bodily injury coverage uh, yeah, I just there it's 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 important to me that you know and understand what those coverage limits are what happens in a situation where you cause an accident nobody plans to be in a car accident nobody plans to be at fault in a car accident but it happens every single day so what happens when that happens what happens when you're in an accident if you're at fault 
do you have the coverage limits in place to protect yourself? So that's, that's what my goal of this video is to do, was my hope is that it makes you think, maybe you go and you dig out your declaration page and you look and see what your coverage limits are. Maybe you call your agent and you say, hey, what is my coverage limits? Do I have 5,100? Do I have 100, 300? You know, when somebody calls me and they say they want to get insurance and they ask what's important to you, they say, well, I want the cheapest possible insurance I can get. Well, that's not what we want to do. I, I want to save you money. I want you to, to pay the least amount of premium for the most coverage that you can get. But none of that matters if you don't have the right coverage. So that's what we need to talk about is what kind of coverages you need, what's gonna, what's going to protect you in the event of a loss. And, that, and, I, and I hope that's what this video caused you to think about. So obviously it's a little bit longer than I anticipated. I, was, I didn't want it to be this long, but if, if you have any questions about what I talked about, bodily injury, property, med pay, if you have questions about any of that, leave it in the comments. I, I'll, I'll, get it, I'll, I'll get those answered. If you have questions about any other type of insurance that you have or a situation uh, that you think might work well for another video that I could do, leave those in the comments. As always, any feedback is welcome. I, I hope everyone has a, a great rest of the evening uh, and take care.